Konnichiwa, guys! Hi, guys! Today we are doing a lesson two and we are learning vocabulary on male genitalia a little bit and also some of the actions that you can do with it. So let's go! Let's get started! So, as everybody knows, this is a dick and dick in Japanese is most commonly used word is chinko, okay? <laughs> or chinchin -chin is more a baby word. Maybe if you're a mom or something, you have a boy, you probably use, will use it, but chinchin -chin is a bit kind of too childish, so maybe you should use chinko, uh, yeah, definitely. And uh, here, the bush, this is specifically for male, you cannot use this for female. It's called chinge because it's chinko and ke is hair. So basically, it's called chinge, if either if you have it or not. And uh, this is balls. And uh, I don't, I didn't really want to teach you guys more like a medical wish word. So I just wrote kintama, okay? Which means a golden ball. But that's what you say for the balls. Kintama or basically tama, just balls. And uh, this, this, uh, I just wanted to teach you this because, I mean, there is a more official term for this, um, I mean, tip of the dick, but uh, you don't fucking use it during the sex, seriously. So I wrote that this is a sakippo, basically means tip. So if you want to tell like a girl, like a, just a tip, you know? <laughs> it's probably sakippo dake means, dake means only. So you can probably use that. Okay, let's go to the next level. <laughs>